O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from 1 Kings. Now Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the settlers of Gilead, said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, before whom I stand, surely there shall be neither dew nor rain these years except by my word. The word of the Lord came to him, saying, Go away from here and turn eastward, and hide yourself by the brook Kareth, which is east of the Jordan. It shall be that you will drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to provide for you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord, for he went and lived by the brook Kareth, which is east of the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he would drink from the brook. It happened after a while that the brook dried up because there was no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Zidon, and stay there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So he rose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called the word and said, Please, let me get a little water in a jar that I may drink. As she was going to get it, he called to her and said, Please, bring me a piece of bread in your hand. But she says, As the Lord your God lives, I have no bread, only a handful of flour in the bowl and little oil in the jar. And behold, I'm gathering a few sticks, and they go in and prepare for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. Then Elijah said to her, Do not fear. Go, do as you have said. Make me a little bread cake from it first and bring it out to me and afterward you may make one for yourself and for your son. But thus says the Lord God of Israel, The bowl of flour shall not be exhausted, nor shall a jar of oil be empty until the day that the Lord sends rain on the face of the earth. So she went and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and her household ate for many days. The bowl of flour was not exhausted, nor did the jar of oil become empty according to the word of the Lord which he spoke through Elijah. Now it came about after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, became sick. And he, his sickness was so severe that there was no breath left in him. So she said to Elijah, What have I to do with you, O man of God? You have come to me to bring my iniquity to remembrance and to put my son to death. He said to her, Give me your son. Then he took him from her bosom and carried him up to the upper room where he was living and laid him on his own bed. He called to the Lord and said, O oh Lord, my God, have you also brought calamity to the widow with whom I am staying by causing her son to die? Then he stretched himself upon the child three times and called to the Lord and said, O oh Lord, my God, I pray you, let this child's life return to him. The Lord heard the voice of Elijah and the life of the child returned to him and he revived. Elijah took the child and brought him down from the upper room into the house and gave him to his mother and Elijah said, See, the son is alive. Then the woman said to Elijah, Now I know that you are a man of God, and the word of the Lord in your mouth is truth. Our Psalter this morning was from Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord while I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Do not trust in princes, mortal man, in whom there is no salvation. His spirit departs, he returns to the earth, and that very day his thoughts perish. How blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in, in the Lord is God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord protects strangers. He supports the fatherless and the widow, but he supports the way of the wicked. 
The word will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Our next reading this morning is from Hebrews. For Christ did not enter a holy place made with hands, a mere copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Nor was it that he would offer himself often, as a high priest entered the holy place year by year, with blood that is not his own. Otherwise he would have needed to suffer often since the foundation of the world. But now once the consummation of the ages, he's been manifested to put away sin, which sacrifice for himself. And inasmuch as it is appointment for men to die once, and after this comes judgment, so Christ also would have been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time to salvation without reference to sin to those who eagerly await him. Our final reading this morning is from Mark. In his teaching he was saying, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and like respectful greetings in the marketplaces, chief seats in the synagogues, and places of honor at banquets who devour widows' houses for appearance sake to offer long prayers. These will receive greater condemnation. And he sat down opposite the treasury and began observing how people were putting money into the treasury, and many rich people were putting in large sums. A poor widow came and put in a, two small copper coins which amount to a cent. Calling his disciples to him, he said to them, Truly I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the contributors to the treasury. For they all put in out of her surplus, for she, out of her poverty, put in all she known, all she had to live on. This concludes the readings for this morning.
the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, with fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and of you all. Amen. He was for Joe.